hello muffins take three okay um <laughs> i'm coming to you with this video because i picked up two items from mac that i'm pretty excited over um it's my first time trying this as a, um in the mac line i picked up two of the highlighter illuminator pins so i picked up two of them and the colors i picked up is peach luster and bright bright forecast now these go for $25 on the website and I wanted to try these because I do have a highlighter pen that I use but um, it's by Givenchy Paris and this one I have in Moroccan number four and this is $34 $38 actually and I wanted to see if I could find something cheaper so um, I came across actually a YouTube video and the young lady on it was showing these now um this is not a concealer i know people use this as a concealer you can if you choose to but it's meant as a highlighting pen so i wanted to do a demo of it um the only thing i have on my face is some primer and um a very light foundation so um i left the under eye area bare so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use my concealer first and I like to use the MAC Concealer Pro Long Wear and I'm going to use that in my beauty blender and then I'm going to um, blend it in and then use the highlighting pen on top of it. So let's get into it. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer to me so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my concealer. So again, I'm going to take my NW45 Pro Long Wear Concealer. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I always do one eye before the next so we're gonna start with this eye and I hope you muffins can see I don't know if I should bring up the camera a little bit more but you can see that I do have very very dark circles so I want to conceal that first and see how it looks um, when I conceal it I mean highlight it I'm sorry so put a little bit there I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out It's just a really quick blend and this is the color I normally use um, on a daily basis if it's just something natural that I would like on my eyes so I'm gonna put some cause no let me do this one first so you can see the difference well you probably can anyway okay so that's concealed pretty good I'm not even gonna go above to conceal the whole eye so you can get the true effect of it okay okay so I blend in my concealer on this eye first and you can see you know you can still see the dark pigmentation I have on the other one we're gonna leave that one alone so I have my, I'm gonna try the first one in um, peach luster and it's just a wind up pen. I don't know how many times you're going to wind it up. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to place that here. All the places where I like to highlight. Let me get a little bit more. This seems like a, it looks like a corrector. I can see if why people would use this as a corrector because it has like an orange undertone to it. I don't know if you can see that muffins, but it does have an orange undertone to it. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out and let's see how that looks. It blends out really easy, wow. Blends into the skin really, really good. And that just basically gave me a natural highlight. I don't know if you can see the difference. Well, you can see the difference between one eye and the, and the next. And the other one. Wow, that blends out really easy. Um, I don't see any streaking because sometimes these highlighters do streak. 
that blends out nice so I'm gonna see if it's kind of buildable so I'm gonna put a little bit more because I want to um, highlight just a little bit here um, and once again it's not a concealer it's just a highlighter I'm gonna try to highlight just a little bit more and I like a natural highlight so I usually probably use a little bit more than normal but this gives such a nice coverage and a nice natural look to the face this one can be used on an everyday basis that is gorgeous like I really really do like that so once again I would um, use my concealer first just to cover it and then I would use this pen to give me a really nice everyday highlight and I would and will set this with a um, powder so you can see the difference now I want to use the other color that I do have so you can see the color of that one on my skin okay so I put the concealer on the other eye I don't really need this light here now so and I um, set this eye with my favorite powder as of now is the black opal invisible powder and it did kind of give it a little bit more of a pop of a highlight be only because it has um, it's like a color it's not in invisible I don't know if you can see that muffins um, so let's go on to the next eye and this one is the bright forecast one so the pens look like this and you know they're a wind up so we're going to wind up well that one wind up pretty much quicker so let's see how this one is wow this one is really light this would I would not wear this one on a, um, a daily basis because it is truly a highlight and it kind of reminds me of the LA girl um, concealers actually you can use that as a cheaper alternative because um, their concealers are really wonderful so we're gonna blend that out and that's giving me a nice glowy type of a highlight um, I know it's looking a lot brighter on camera and that's probably because of the lights and stuff also but um, I had to cut on more lights because it is late at night I just can't believe how nice this really blends in this actually blends in much better than the um, the other uh, highlighter pen this one it blends in much nicer and I love this pen this pen like gives me the only va va boom highlight but this one is really really nice I guess that if you are more of a um, fair to medium skin tone the bright forecast would really give you more of a natural look instead of a bright highlight for someone that is my complexion and I am a NW45 in matte concealers for my natural look and then I also use the NC40 or 45 sometimes to get a little bit more of a highlight factor to my face but my color is NW45 so you can really see that beautiful 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 highlight um, I should cut the light off on the side so you can truly truly see it. but this is just fabulous I really do like this like I am really really impressed with this that is gorgeous um, it is a difference if you can see this one it has a little bit more of a pop of a, um, highlighting to my skin and it's given a little bit more glow let me cut my side lights out so you can get a true um, look as to what it looks like on my skin okay, so I cut that side light out and now you can see what it looks like see yeah that's without the mirror light so it does give a pretty good coverage wow what am I breaking out from so both of them are really really beautiful I want to see what it looks like when I put my setting powder on it and I would set this um just so it doesn't crease I'll 
blend that in really, really well. That is gorgeous. I really do like it. I'm glad that I found a cheaper alternative than my regular highlighting pen. That is my daughter. She knows I'm filming. I don't know why. She's trying to be funny. Okay, so you can see the difference. So let me move the camera back so you can get a full view of what my face looks like. Okay, so this is what the full face looks like. And to finish that up, I would just throw on my powder. Let me put some powder on so it doesn't look like you can see that um, line in my face from the highlighter. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I would normally... Um, I shouldn't have put powder on there, but I just want to see what it looks like. Um, drop the box. Don't worry about it, muffins. With the um, other color. Which one? Let me see how this looks with the um, Bright Forecast. Now, again, this would not be a everyday um, the color, the Bright Forecast. I would use for my face because it's just a little bit too out there for an everyday look yeah and I guess like one twist of the pen is really good enough um, I'm kind of doing a little bit much but I just want you muffins to really see look how nicely that blends in and I would go in with my bronzer to um, contour more of my nose. But it gives a really nice highlight to the skin. Like really, really nice. I know it's looking a little bright right now. But I'm going to kind of go in and finish the rest of my face. And I will take some pictures at the end. And post them at the end of the video look how nicely that blends it in wow I wish I would have <laughs> known this before I got the other pen because I have been using the Givenchy pen for like a while now like all of probably like a year and I go through maybe three of those three or four of them a year um only because uh I'm gonna hurt my daughter. Hold okay, on. my friends. So I just did light. Ugh. I just did a light contour, and that was it. Threw some lipstick on or whatever, and some blush. I really, really do like this. Like I am really excited that I picked up these pens. Um, it's going to definitely be a replacement of this. I will no longer pick this up, no matter how much I love this pen, like so much. But it's cheaper for me to buy the Mac pen. And especially that I go through this one so much for like $38 for one pen. It's quite expensive. Um, let me see how many ounces. Let me see what's the difference of the um, product that you get in it. Um, am I looking at the wrong one? Yeah. So this one is um, um, 0 0.5 fluid ounces. And let's see how much the MAC is. Um, point, point 0.12. Wow, that's a great difference. Um, so my thoughts on it is it's a fantastic product. I'm glad that I picked them up. They blend in really, really easy. Um, it gives such a gorgeous highlight. If you want something more, if you're my complexion and you want something for more of a natural, everyday, um, natural glow or natural highlight to the skin, um, the Peach Luster is a really, really good um, product. And besides the MAC, um, <clears throat> I am um, Rich Mink in CoverGirls. 3-in-1 foundation 
and in black opal I am suede mocha and let me see what other type of poplar um, foundation is out there in um, Mac Studio like this one I am N45 and W45 so I'm just trying to give you more of a comparison for people that are my skin tone um, my problem area is up underneath my eye with my skin. Um, I don't really care about the blemishes that I have on the rest of my skin. Um, but I really do like these pins a lot. It's going to be a staple in my um, collection. I'm actually going to go back and order two more of these pins just to have as backup. But so that is my review. I'll give it two thumbs up. Um, and I, if you have any questions or whatever then just leave them down below if you want me to do um, a highlighting video on this one I will um, but it's basically the same thing um, the bright forecast and this one is somewhat of the same color um, it's really not much of a difference in the color but it is a difference in the price so that is my review muffins and thank you for watching and have a good night <laughs> bye muffins